In today's video I'm going to show you how to turn this foam insulation board into this Halloween tombstone. I've cut a piece 360 by 560 mil and now we're going to draw our design on it. I'm going to use a jigsaw to cut this out. You can use a hand saw but I'm going to take it outside and get that cut down. That's the shape cut out. Now uh, we can start designing our lettering to go on the so I'm gonna get on with that. Let's have a look. That's our lettering design. And we're gonna use a their uh, Dremel to cut this out. I've just got a flat bit on it, about four mil and the depth gauge. So it's just a case now of following the letters. Always wear a face mask when you're doing this part because it is very dusty. And take your time, just follow each letter. And regularly clean it off. On this side, you don't want to go too deep. If you go too deep, you'll start melting the foam and the foam will melt onto the tool. So just keep it about 3mm deep and just work your right all around the design. That's the design all <coughs> routed out. So next, we're going to draw a thin line around the edge, about 10 mil in. I'm going to do that just holding the pen and using my finger as a guide. So I'll set the pen nib about 10 mil in, and then just use your pencil, or your finger, to go around the edge and keep it at the same distance. So we're going to go all the way around on this one. Fill these little bits in. Leave there uh, afterwards because we can't get in there with no finger. Just join those up after when we've gone all the way around. You don't want to move your finger in the pen, so you're just keeping that same distance all the time. And we'll just fill those bits in that we couldn't reach. Same again, we're going to go around the drill, there we go, all sorted. Now I'm just going to use a small rasp just to round off the edges so it's not too like, sharp looking. So I'm going to take this outside to do this bit because it is a messy job. But don't press on, just use the weight of the uh, rasp to just file away. Uh, that's all the edges done. And you notice I've also just there and there and over here just take it away a little bit like it's been chipped, make it look old. And now I'm going to put some cra uh, fake cracks in it. So I'm just using a pencil just to mark it out roughly. Change the bit on the Dremel. We've now got a pointed bit. And I'm just going to draw these freehand, just 
using my hand as a stop. This bit I'm using is like it's shaped like a countersink bit, so you can put a bit of angle on it and alter the depth of the gate and the width of the, the crack. So it's not all the same size as it's going through. Just take your time, just add in these wiggly lines, just to make them look like cracks. That's all the cracks done. So the next job, we're going to make a base. So I've got a piece 500mm long and it's 90mm by 100mm. We've done the same, roughed the edges up, put a few cracks in it. Now I'm just going to use some hot glue just to bond the two together. I'll work quick on here because you don't want the first look bits to dry. Sometimes I found it easier if you just put the glue along the front edge, glue that down and then you can just get the glue gun in the back edge, dab it in and then push the back in as well. And it gives you that bit more time there before it sets then. And just glue this on there and then I'm going to leave that for a few minutes just as they're set and then we'll be ready for spraying it. Right, all I'm going to use on here is a grey primer just to fill in all the bits that we've routed out any little gaps and cracks that we've put in it just makes it easier when we come to paint this because uh, we're going to paint it with a sandstone spade that paint standard old masonry paint Now this is the masonry paint we're going to use, it's just a dark grey, uh, you can add a little bit of sand to it if you want more texture, I remember there's enough texture in the foam, and that's it painted now, it may take a couple of coats, I'm going to leave that overnight and then I'll do another coat tomorrow, these two here, I've had two coats and I did these a couple of days ago, and they're ready for the lettering painting on them now. And that's all dry. Now we're just going to use a very watered down Mars Black. And just fill in all the lettering and all the cracks. A black wash this.
That's all the lettering coloured in and the cracks. So now we can start uh, adding a bit more ageing colour to it. For this I'm going to use an airbrush but you can use a water spray bottle with a, just a bit of uh, watered down acrylics in them. I'm going to start off with a, a greeny brown colour and just slowly start building a bit of colour up in areas. Try not to make your stripes too narrow when you're using this, so otherwise it will look like you've got stripes on it from the distance. So you're just shading in bits, especially where it's rough. We'll build up like this colour and then I'm going to add a bit more green to it just to make it look like moss. You, when you're doing this part, just take your time, slowly build up. You can use a sponge as well to get the same effect. So just uh, dabbing the sponge in your um, mix and then dabbing it on. That's the first colour done. Next we're going to add like a little bit of green. And then we'll add finally uh, to get some shadows into it, some Mars back black watered down. Well, there we have it. That's that finished now. I'm happy with that. We've got a bit of shadowing under the cracks, so it looks like dirt's washed out when it's been rained on. And run down the front of it. Well, I hope you found this one interesting. I'll catch you on the next one.